Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Liquid Sports Show. My name is Vincent. And my name is Brian Werimo. And you know what? When we sit down here, we're going to be talking about one of the biggest games you have over the weekend. Yes. Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Chelsea, yeah. And of course, this will be our combined 11. Yeah. Uh, what's your take on this game? Uh, it's going to be a difficult match yeah. for both teams. Yeah. Um, Manchester United need to bounce back from uh, the defeat, uh, okay, uh, from the draw yeah. with the, at Newcastle. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea are doing well. Chelsea. Uh, actually, they I think they are number five right now, right? Yeah. So it's a go- it's going to be a very interesting match yeah. from maybe a neutral point of view. So uh, maybe tactically. Uh, you will see some changes from the teams. Yeah. Uh, but I tend to think um, there's gonna be a few goals here and there. Yeah. From both teams. What, what am I do not you think? Seeing, what am I not seeing? I think uh, Manchester United versus uh, Chelsea has been a match mm-hmm. where goals are not really that much. Not much. It's a game which could, which could end yeah. maybe one nil. Yeah. Traditionally zero, we have zero. seen that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but right now with uh, Chelsea mm-hmm. adding firepower in the name and also of defensively, uh, America and we've also seen Manchester United also doing well. Yep. I think. Um, that could change. That could change. We expect maybe mm-hmm. goals. Goals. We expect goals. But yeah, we first, expect goals. first thing first, let's talk about the starting eleven. I uh-huh. mean, the, our combined eleven. Yep. For the for these, for two, these teams. two teams. Uh, today, I think we're gonna we we we, we, we can change uh, the, our the formation. formation. We've used four three three. What Back about now? Back. Four two four two two. Uh, we four can two, use two, something two, two. four two. <laughs> That's for Atletico Madrid. <laughs> Let's use four two three one. Or we pack the bus like Mourinho used we to do. We play five back yeah. five. <laughs> <laughs> if you play back five, then it means Aubameyang will be our defender. Uh, so to avoid that, it's no problem. Let's go with four two if three one. If you ever found Mourinho at Chelsea, you would have played him there. You know Mourinho. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Mourinho if I speak, I am in, in anyway, big maybe trouble. Maybe you can give us the the formation you think will be good Let's for go our combined eleven for this Four two one. three one. Four, Back two, four, three, two one. CDMs, two CDMs, one attacking midfielder, uh, and uh, actually more of three, cutting yeah. across three mm. winger, one winger. winger, one winger, someone playing as as a central attacking midfielder, a CM, uh-huh. then the striker. the striker, right? Uh, All right, can that work for you? It will work uh, absolutely. I have so many players in mind, okay. and I'm very sure you're going to disagree <laughs> with me, but. I tell you what, uh, I have facts. All right, all right. Yep. Let's start with the goalkeeping area. Goalkeeping area. Yes. Tough Obviously. between two two Spanish players who are currently playing. Yes. Uh, Mendy is actually out. So uh, if he I was... I think fit, Mendy somehow recovered. Recovered. Or is he in the favorite for Potter? I'm not sure. I think he was injured. He was uh, injured, yeah, but he has started from the bench uh, in recent matches. Yeah, so... These two Spanish keepers, I don't know. Why I'd are you overthinking? <laughs> yeah, but, but we, we saw Kepa <laughs> making brilliant saves. You know, Kepa is a good keeper. He's a good goalkeeper. The only time he messed up is when he started becoming Chelsea manager by himself. Uh, during that penalty shoot. Exactly. <laughs> so, I remember. Uh, he was being subbed by, was it? Sari. Yeah. And, and it was like, hey, relax, him. relax. I know what I'm doing, man. And I think he saved the penalty. Yeah, he <laughs> saved the penalty. Anyway, it doesn't matter. If we, you know, rules are rules. Yeah, rules are you rules. You need to be. So, be yeah, okay. I think I'll, I'll go Kepa for the gear. There, yeah. Thank you, because uh, you, I could see you thinking. Yeah. The gear is a good goalkeeper. Yep. Uh, the gear has my respect. Uh-huh. He's one goalkeeper who will make. Actually, yeah, uh-huh. will make. Who has who will make changes? Like, like yeah. I mean, who will make saves? Yeah, to who, keep you in the game. Yes. Yeah. So I was to say, actually, he celebrated his uh, 500 appearances for Manchester United. So yeah. uh, against Newcastle United. Yeah, it's a, yeah, I mean, a huge milestone. Meaning for this him. will be could this will be his uh, 500 and sec- one second and sec no 501 Tottenham match. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So uh, we are going with De Gea because he's capable. That, that, that's of agreed. Doing, eh? Yeah, amazing stuff in the goal. Like, yeah. You see, Manchester United have not been playing actually. That mm-hmm. uh, I think they also use back four. Yep. So it'll be easier for us. Yep. Now we go for the right back. Right back. Right back position. Yep. What uh, do you today, put? Today, I think why are you skipping the centre back today? Why, I'm why are you the dodging right back. this? <laughs> <laughs> is it a bullet you're dodging? <laughs> cool. there, there is. <laughs> we have a fight there. Uh, we shall come to that. We I shall come you. to that. I see you. Uh, I, I want to talk about okay. the right back and right left back. back. Okay. Let's so right back. Yep. Uh, we have uh, obviously 
Uh, we have so many players in yep. that position yep. there, but right now, right now we can talk about uh, Caesar as Yes. And also on the side of Manchester United. Yes. Uh, we, we have, we have Diogo Dalot. Diogo Dalot. And uh, I think uh, Wan Bisaka is injured. One one Bisaka is out. And he hasn't even played this season. So actually, I'm sure there are people who are now hearing about Wan Bisaka ever since Ten Hag has he even played Manchester. this season. He hasn't played. I, oh, he played. I think as a substitution once. Yeah. And then that was. But the uh, injuries. And, now and then here truly. he got injured. Sad. Uh, now we have as Pliqueta over there for Chelsea, and then we also have Rhys James, but yes. I think he's out. He's also out. Yeah. So we are, so you are just left with those uh, two: Caesar and Dalot. Dalot. Um. I'm going for Caesar. I'll also pick Caesar because of the Caesar experience. Caesar has tremendous experience yeah. as a player and uh, as a Chelsea captain as well. You gotta give it up to him. Yeah, he's he knows how to cross the ball. He can tackle. He can lift up the team spirit. So he's a leader. I'm going for Caesar as a player. No argument about that. So okay. I think we can move quickly to the left. Are, I thought we were going to disagree. Why? No. Why are we? <laughs> We are going to the left back. Maybe at the center back. Okay. That way we could be having ah, yeah. problem. Let's move. So on the left side, mm-hmm. we have for Chelsea, Chelsea, of course, the biggest man there. Yep. Marco Kukurea. Kukurea. Kukurea is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've also seen uh, this guy, Ben Chilwell. Ben Chilwell. Played for, so well. Yeah. And for Manchester United, we uh, have for Manchester Tyrell United, Malasia and we have uh, Luke Shaw. Uh, this is gonna be a difficult one. Interesting, interesting. Four interesting. good players. You four know? good players. Yeah. I think I'll go with favorite. You know, I'm a fan of uh, uh-huh. Luke Shaw. You are a big fan of Luke Shaw. Korea is a good player. Yep. But for me, he's not really impressed me. Yep. This and uh, he uh, hasn't impressed me at all. He's playing well, but yeah. he's such a kind of he's a player. He, the few games I've watched him play. Yep. He is so much into forward forward okay. runs. Yeah. So I think uh, maybe on my side, yeah. uh, I'd be going for Kukurela. For real? But yeah, I'd be. I said I'd be. Yeah, yeah, okay. But then again, uh, what Luke Shaw has done ever since he came back to the For, team mm. after uh, that Man City defeat, has he's done so well. So so we agree. Let's agree on uh, Luke, Luke Shaw. Shaw this time. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Um. Let's talk about the centre back. Now this is a place you've been avoiding. <laughs> 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 this is a place you've been avoiding. I'll get you. Ah, I'll we have you. for Manchester United. A uh, team which has been really starting. Yep. It's a pair of uh, Two Rafael Varane backs and, uh, and uh, Martinez and Lisandro Martinez. Yeah. Well, how about Maguire? Mag- is Maguire out? Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Harry no, Maguire. You, you, you guys. You know, I, Manchester saw, I, I saw a post somewhere. Yeah. Uh, okay, we we posted about uh, the Ballon d'Or on our Liquid Sports Show page yeah. on Facebook. Somebody said and Maguire has been dropped. Yeah, it, it, there's that Photoshop. <laughs> you guys are joking Photoshop, too much. Photoshop Maguire <laughs> with a bald head, and he said he deserves it. So he deserves I, it. I was really laughing about it. <laughs> they played. They played. Yeah. Anyway, Maguire is um, out of this game, yeah. so I don't think he will make it. Yeah. Uh, so. Let's go quickly to the players we think are playing. We have Martinez and Varane. And yeah, for Chelsea, for we, Chelsea have we have Trev, uh, Chaloba. Trev Chaloba. Chaloba has and, been uh, playing well. And, uh, Kalidu Kulibali. Kulibali. While uh, Fofana is out. Fofana right? is out. Yeah, yeah, so Fofana is out. Uh, for me, this should be easy. I'm yeah. going for Varane and Kalidu Kulibali. I'm putting in experience. What about you? Um, Varane and Kalidu Kulibali are slow players. Uh-huh. I don't Do you know think whether. So? They, I, they, actually, they are, okay. Varane might, might be the fastest defender in... Uh, Not really, in, in but I'm talking in terms of reaction. In reaction. Okay. You wouldn't compare Lisandro mm-hmm. Martinez with uh-huh. Varane. Yep. Varane has the experience. Let me take you back to a certain partnership we had uh-huh. for Manchester United. We had this guy called Wes Brown, yeah, West Brown and Rio. And Rio Ferdinand. Those two guys, one, you need, you need a defender, uh-huh. centre-backs, uh-huh. four centre-backs. Uh-huh. You need a slow centre-back. Uh-huh. And another faster. Fast, yeah, who's, Do you know why? Who's supposed to make those? Do you uh, know why? Uh-huh. A slow defender mm-hmm. will tempt the uh, the strikers. Uh-huh. Like I'm trying to to tempt you to release the ball before mm-hmm. I reach out to you. Right. Another partnership we saw between Parmata Saka and Loro Koscielny. Koscielny. Did it really work out well? Why they formed a very good partnership. During those times, they lifted the FA Cup. Okay. Yes, back to back actually. <clears throat> so right. uh, your selection is okay. Your selection yeah. is okay. But but who if are you if, if I if there? I was to go for the speed and stuff, uh-huh. I think I'll drop one. 
who will you drop? I'll drop. And don't, may not I'll it be Kalidu Kulibali, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop one, uh-huh. but uh-huh. Uh, for for the sake of the experience and stuff, uh-huh. let me not t- touch that backline. Okay. But I could have at least maybe uh, dropped Kalidu. Kalidu for and I bring uh, Martinez. Uh, Martinez. Yeah, actually, the whole you, centre you, back for for Manchester to work yeah, like you could be right yes. because uh, this uh, the back for Manchester United actually have had a little impact or a good impact ever since uh, those changes were made. Exactly. They're keeping clean sheets now. Maybe... So yeah. should we drop Kalidu? Let's drop Kalidu. Okay. Now we go with uh, Rafael Varane and Lissandro and, uh, Martinez. Lissandro Martinez. No, you, 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 at least you get my point. <laughs> you, you get my point. I'm agreeing with you because uh, at least today you, yeah. you, you, you look like someone who can say something sensible. So Okay. Kindly, yeah. Yeah. Watch your line. <laughs> All right. So uh, in the quickly. midfield, like we picked four two. Yep. So it means now you're going to deal with uh, two, two CDMs. CDMs. Defensive midfielders. Okay. So we have Casemiro. Casemiro and uh, we, have we have Ericsson can play there too. Uh, yeah, but Ericsson can play there as a CM. Scott, but Scott uh-huh. McTominay. You see, w- w- when you talk about two midfielders, okay, yeah, one needs to be, be the natural. It's CDM. like when you go to Chelsea. Yep. You'll see Kante and Jorginho. Oh yeah. When you go to Arsenal, I get you. You'll find someone like uh, Xhaka, or Xhaka Pati and Pate. Uh-huh. Xhaka is more of a central CM, midfielder yeah, yeah, yeah. than CDM. I get you. When you go to Man City, you'll I find you. Rodri. Yeah. But our CDM for this formation, we'll yeah. make sure that he tracks back. Yes. Because he, he, we need him defensively. That's why we went him with the 4-2. Yeah. 4 two, three, one. Exactly. Cool. So we have Jorginho. Jorginho. Uh, K- Kante is out. Actually, Kante is out. it is really sad Kante will miss the, the World, World Cup. Cup. Yeah, um, he's really out. A very sad. humble guy. That's very I sad. I love here. that guy. Yeah. That's another favorite He would have actually. made uh, this decision very simple. But yeah. now that he's not in, I think we... So uh, we play with one CDM. We, we play with one CDM, one CM. Yep. So we have, uh, for Chelsea, we have uh, Ruben Loftus Chick. Loftus Chick. Yes, and also we have Jorginho. Jorginho. For Manchester, we have Casemiro. Casemiro. And we have uh, Scott Cas- McTominay. Scott McTominay. We have also Ericsson, Ericsson. as a CM. Man. Hey, this is this is going crazy, to be crazy. Really, really tough. Let's pick <laughs> just cent- uh, central defensive midfielder. First. First. So CDM, I think the best among those. Um, should you go for Casemiro? Would be Casemiro, yes. but Casemiro, um, Casemiro's uh, start for the Premier League hasn't been so impressive, even hasn't. after having assisted Ronaldo yeah. against Everton. Yeah. So I'd go for Loftus Cheek. For real? Yes, I'd go for Loftus, Loftus Cheek. For a, a, as the CDM. As the CDM. How about you? Tricky decision. I could have gone for Casemiro, <laughs> but with your <laughs> argument. Yeah. Loftus Chick has been doing well Loftus for Chelsea. Loftus Chick and Jorginho who is better in terms of C- CDM. Ah, Jorginho Jorginho defensively. Is kind of soft. Yeah, so he, uh, he cannot. Tr- he, he, he is the type of player we saw in Ozil. Yep. Uh, the moment uh, you the team his team loses the ball, then yes. it means then we are like done. We yep. are ten players yep. down. Yep. But you'll see him step up when you're, you're possessing yep. the ball. So. So we, we let's using pick uh, Loftus Cheek. Right? Thank you. Then uh, now we need, uh, we need another. We need now CM. So A that CM. means we cannot play Scott McTominay there. Yep. McTominay, McTominay uh, and, and uh, are all out. other CDMs are out. So are out. I think I'd go for Ericsson. Ericsson. I was thinking of the same because yeah. uh, any time Ericsson over over Jorginho. Yep. Yeah. Ericsson. So in the mid our midfield. Actually, the Manchester United Ruben missed him against um, uh, Newcastle. Yeah. So you 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 kind of like know he's very impactful in the yeah. team. Yeah. So we will use him as the CM. How about you? You think? He's I, okay? I I agree. All right. So we go to our CAM. CAM. Okay. Um. Go on. Bro. Anthony must be there. Anthony has to be there. Anthony has to be, to be so there. So, who, 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 which pair are you picking? Just tell me I'm putting for, someone on the for left. Me Sterling, for me, Sterling. For me, Sterling is very selfish. Okay. So he's out. Sterling is out. Sterling for me is out. Sterling is out for me. I cannot. <laughs> like no way, bro. No way. No way. Sterling, no. Sterling is a no for me. Are you? Are you? I'll are, go you for are you? Are you denying him because of how he? <laughs> not really. Not ah, really. Man, come on. Don't use those kinds of stuff to, to rule really. out a player. Not so, really. Because mm. I think I'll pick instead. So I'll put. If, if Sterling is out, you mean it's Sancho and who? Anthony. Sancho, Anthony. Wow. Looks like you are you are, ele- too. you are eleven. Uh, f- you are eleven combined. Is just full of Manchester United players. Man. We are picking the best, bro. 
we, because like I can tell you, uh-huh. we have good players in the Premier yep, League, yep. but they've never inter- like I've, I've never any, had in interest with them. Okay. Why? Because a player, you need to do teamwork. Unless okay. you are Messi, you are trying to you are trying to go past def- uh, twenty defenders. Okay, I'll agree with you uh, that Anthony needs to be in the team because of how he fights. Exactly. Actually, he has been. Anthony he's, is he's, he's tra- a fighter. Fighter. So if we are putting in Anthony, Sancho is out. Okay. Now yes, we Sanchez, can agree on the other side. Uh, has been Pulisic, quite lousy. We have Pulisic, we have Sterling. Yeah. Uh, Let me ask you a question which will determine uh, so that we go quickly on this. Yeah, one. we finish up. Uh, Sterling or Pulisic? Pulisic. I'll go for Pulisic. <laughs> Man, Captain you, America. You look like you have something against Sterling. No, 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 not at all. This Captain might, you America. Know, you know, Sterling might be selfish, but he always delivers some, at, sometimes. How many times has he done that? He delivered when they won 2 nil against Leicester. 2-1, that's, actually. That's, that's the only thing you can remember. Remind me another Man. thing. You see, okay. you see for, for a player, you need to be... For I, the sake of time, let's put Pulisic Anthony. and Anthony. Thank you. Now we go to And we won't position. discuss who will be the striker. Uh, I'll pick Aubameyang. Um, I'll yeah. pick up Aubameyang. With the, with the uh, current uh, form for Man United strikers, maybe Rashford can be a contender because he actually won Premier League uh, Player of the Month recently. Yeah. And um, uh, the game against Newcastle, he uh, came on and actually he had an impact. A bit of game changer, but, again, but didn't work. Uh, yeah, for experience purposes, we are going for Aubameyang. Aubameyang to lead the line. Yeah. I think we are done. And the manager? Ah, <laughs> Potter or Ten Hag? Yeah. <laughs> I'll pick Potter. 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 Okay. I'll pick Potter. Who do you think is going to win the match? Mm-hmm. Tough one. This tough game one. is tough, trust me. Uh-huh. But um, Chelsea, Chelsea is the team to beat. Chelsea is the team to beat. I'm going for 1-1 one, one draw. Chelsea is the team to beat. But then again, it's the recent games have showed us like, yeah. So they can fire blanks both teams. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'll go for personally for me, I'll go for one-one draw. I think uh, could be a draw. Man United can also edge Chelsea slightly. Yeah, maybe two-one or one-nil. Okay, and yeah. also remember that we are going to have a promotion for Chelsea versus Manchester United game on our page, where you'll need to give us the correct score of this match, and you will walk away with some fantastic prizes. Vincent, you know the prizes? For yes, this of game? course. The first four people to comment correctly, the correct score. Yep. They love a stack of 250, 250 shillings. shillings. So far, so good. No one has won that. No one has won so far. Yeah. But we are hoping Chelsea and Manchester United can give someone a prize. Play play a goalless draw. 0 <laughs> zero. <laughs> zero, zero. Play 1 1. Zero, play 1 1. That right. is the correct score of that I match. think so. that's it. That's it's it. a wrap. Yep. Guys, my name is Vincent. And my name is Brian. And this is... The Liquid Sports Show.